Okay, I found paper and then glued the pieces to the paper. I did that by applying glue to the board and applying that to the paper. Now we're going to trim it. This piece I cut to 15 millimeters. I think I could trim to more if I wanted to, but I also don't need to. Um, I don't know what kind of paper this is. For the record, it's black paper that I have in a drawer. Yep. Everything's going perfect right now. Mm -hmm. Just perfect. I just ordered food, so I'm very excited about that. Um, and then you have to cut these corners off. And theoretically, you cut it like the height of the board away. It was like two millimeters. I think it'd be good to do three millimeter because I did two. So what I'm going to do is put the boards like this. And trim. I mean, ideally, I'm just eyeballing this and then using a pair of scissors, but I'll be honest, I'm not sure. My scissors are buried somewhere, and why not do this? Also, I got ink all over my hands, and I wasn't even doing anything with ink. <laughs> so, that's the spine piece. This is the one of the covers, front or back. Oh, I didn't trim this first. Nope. Oh, Maria. Mmm, this corner isn't good. Squish some glue in there. Perfect. I was wondering why it looked so weird trimming that corner. I'm like, this is a lot of paper. Oh, because you didn't trim it, Maria. Hmm, funny how that works. So, uh, for the record, I am not very good at this process, but just give it a go. That's my glue. I did buy the special glue because, you know, may as well. I really want to do use this hole. 
instead of the other one. But so now I gotta glue. I don't like this paper as gluing paper. Because the other paper sticks to it, so I, but I have an idea. That is a perfect idea that's gonna work without me even trying it. Oh, do you see it's working already? You should know that there's no mess just outside the shot. Everything is pristine. So what I'm gonna do is stupid. That's okay. I'm gonna just glue one side at a time because I'm not quick enough yet. So um, you always wanna do the head and the tail first, aka the top and the bottom. So I'm putting glue up here. Then I'm gonna get my folder, go under here. Pull this down. Beautiful, beautiful. And then I'm gonna fold this corner in right there. And right here, tiny bit of paper gets folded down so that you make nice. Clean corners, etc. Okay, now we're going to do the bottom. Same way. Second verse, same as the first. Hopefully not worse. An actual glue brush would probably be better, but here's what I had, this thing. So, guess what I'm using? Mm-hmm, it's a thing I had. If you didn't have a bone folder, hmm, I'm not sure what I would recommend. your fingers you can maybe try a butter knife um, cool totally got stuff on the edge it's okay not being graded now I can do the sides Last side.
something got cut weird. Cool. So that's a cover. Here's the other. Now I gotta do the spine. This should be easier. I should be able to do top and bottom if I can't manage that. Well, quit. I feel like I didn't get enough glue on there. Mm hmm. Well, just got, you know, everything's fine. I need more glue. Oops, but not on your cutting mat, Maria, please. This is much better. to drink a bunch of water oh my gosh Maria you need to concentrate on the job at hand girl I'm going to have to glue more later, but not for a while. Not until the book is almost done. I remember right. So, So here's our cover. Set this aside. And next, you can see I started and I made a mistake somewhere. But next, we're going to mark the holes and sew the spine together, which is super exciting. But look at it, it already looks so much like a book. It doesn't. Um, but this is exciting for now. I'm going to go wash my glue brush. <laughs>